Hey everyone, I'm Constantine and this is Marble. Marble loves traveling. That's why I bring her with me wherever I go. On our last journey to the land of no times, we discovered the cave and in there we found a book. Mm, yeah, sorry. Marble found a book. I stayed outside because I was afraid. The title of the book is The Adventures of Alexander on the Planet Athlasa. And we'll read it together to find out who's Alexander and where is the planet Athlasa. Are you ready, Marble? <coughs> Some stories begin with a phrase, once upon a time, others with a long time ago. Our story starts with three, two, one, the adventure begins. Chapter 1, Part 1, Alexander vs. the Green Dragon. Follow me to Ireland. There we will see mischievous fairies with colorful hair and mysterious druids with long grey beards. We like to make magic potions inside big pots. Somewhere there is the village Bali Bog where the protagonist of our story lives, an 11-year-old boy named Alexander. 11 and a half, please! He would correct me if he heard me. Alexander lived with his mom Mary, his dad John and his older sister Morgan. And every Thursday evening, at 7 o'clock sharp, a fairy and Alexander's uncle would visit them to play with his nephew while Mary and John were out for dinner. Uncle, what adventure are we going on today? Alexander asked. I heard of an island, not far from here, where the villagers accidentally awakened an ancient dragon that had lain dormant for millions of years sleeping in a cave with radioactive uranium deposits. The radiation turned the dragon scales into green diamonds so hard that no weapon can kill it. The islanders are afraid that if they don't stop it, it will burn their houses and boats, Etherian said. Dragon! Oh, am I ready to fight a dragon? Of course you are. Just remember all that you've learned from our past adventures and you will have nothing to fear. Can I take my magic sword with us? Alexander asked and looked into his uncle's eyes, one blue and the other one brown. Yeah, but don't forget the first rule of our adventures. We are not invincible, Alexander said and jumped on the couch. Etherian jumped on the couch as well. Are you ready? He asked and took out a medallion from underneath his shirt. All set, cried Alexander as his uncle's medallion glittered. Say your magic words after mine, Etherian said. Clithi me, O polismene Calliope, Cleusa, η κετηρίδα φωνήν, έλθε, δω ζωή, εισέπως αυτό. Three, two, one, the adventure begins! Alexander shouted immediately afterwards and then something magical happened. Alexander's clothes transformed to a warrior's armor, while his uncle's clothes became a red wizard robe with stars and planets. The couch turned into a boat, the wooden floor became a vast blue sea and the carpets became waves. The halls and ceiling were now a blue sky with few scattered clouds and the lamp a bright sun. The coffee table turned into a rock island and the armchair a huge rock emerging from the sea. The frames on the hall changed to seagulls while the dining table became an island with houses and trees. The chairs became dolphins and the TV morphed into an enormous green dragon. That's our story for today. Next time, we'll learn more about the adventures of Alexander with his uncle Etherian. Till then, from Marvel and I, have a lovely week. Bye!